I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my forecast for you Aquarius for the week of September the 19th. Now I have a new website too and a new domain name. You can get to it via jenniferangel.com. Nice and simple. Everything else is redirected, okay? So don't worry about, about that. You can always get there. Also, if you're following me on other sites around the place, I'd really ask if you would have a look at jenniferangel.com and follow me on that site. Now, there is a reason for me to ask this, which will revol uh, reveal to you um, towards the end of the month, okay? And that will all become very clear. All right, let's have a look at what's happening this week. So um, we've got um, Mercury is in a interaction with Pluto for the second time this week. It's a Mercury-Pluto trine and at the start of the week when Mercury is retrograde, it crosses over or back over the exact degree and then it comes out of retrograde this week, hooray, and then as it goes forward, it crosses over in that exact degree again, okay? So um, for you, it's, it's about uh, official business can come together, um, certainly someone can step forward and give you a helping hand with financial security and uh, you know anything that happens with Pluto is quite powerful and you want to be a, a little aware of um, that you're not allowing any blockages, things from the past, old beliefs uh, that you really haven't dealt with and if they start to come up again like you want to deal with them don't squash them down look at them and you know re release them uh, be and the other thing is you know with mercury um, retrograde in the middle of the week the whole week is going to be a little unsettled because as uh, and it goes in or out of a retrograde, it's stationary direct or stationary retrograde. You get in that part of the transit which is called the storm, okay? So it can be quite uh, disruptive. So you want to just, don't, first of all, don't make any assumptions. Also, what happens at the start of the week may not be how the week ends up, all right? So keep an open mind um, and keep your schedule a little bit flexible as well. Now, Venus is going to make a move at the right at the end of the week over the weekend into your solar 10th house. This is going to be great for connections, great for working with people, and very good for money as well, okay? Um now, uh, before Venus does move into that area at the start of the week, there is an interaction between Venus and Mars. Always quite powerful. This it can spark, you know, it's a spark of energy that comes from uh, these two. For you, it's about friendships, um, and it's it's about um, standing in your circle of truth and seeing exactly how you feel. Okay, but in a diplomatic way, of course, and with Venus in Libra when that happens, that's certainly going to help. The Sun is also on the move this week. It's going to be great for your long-term plan, so you want to spend some time this week on, on your plans. Great time to do that with Mercury, you know, coming out of that retrograde. When Mercury is in retrograde, it's always a better time for planning than for action. If possible. Like, go figure, I launched a website in Mercury Retrograde, which is not something I would suggest to do. Had my fair share of technical issues, but, you know, sometimes you just have to do what you've got to do, you know. Um, okay, so all in all, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting week. There can be quite a bit happening this, this week. I hope it's all good for you. Try not to prejudge it. And just see what happens, okay? Love and luck to you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week.